don't know why, but for some reason I'm like reminding myself of that one mugshot of, um, what's her name? The one that like harassed those people. She's like in Mean Girls. Lindsay Lohan. I don't know why I'm reminding myself of her. I think like the hair. Didn't she have hair like this? Anyways, so today I'm going to be doing a Q&A because yesterday I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and I said I'd answer them in a Q&A. So this is that Q&A. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> it doesn't look alike at all, but for some reason I'm reminding myself of that. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of this one. This is like just a video of me showing Lindsay Lohan's mugshots. Okay, let's get started. So, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions. I already said that. But I'm the type of person that likes to write stuff down and read it off of paper. I don't know why. So, that's what I did. So, like, I'm going to be reading out of this book. Um, not my phone, so I'm just saying, in case you're like, why does she have a book? It's because I wrote down the questions that I wanted to answer. Or I mainly just took the questions that were like re repeatedly, repetitively asked. Um, so, yeah. If I didn't answer your question in this one, then, or if I don't answer your question in this one, then I'm sorry. Maybe I'll do another Q&A in the future and you can ask again. And if I like notice that you've asked it twice, I'll be like, oh, they really want to know that and I'll answer it. So yeah. The first question is do I have a job? And yes I do. But yeah I'm just not going to say where it is right now because I don't really care about my privacy or I have it in the past and I feel like I probably should start with like honestly there's nothing I can keep private anymore. I'm so open about everything. But I think I'm just going to keep that a secret for a little bit about where I work because um I don't know, I just feel weird telling people where I work. It's not like a weird place at all, but I don't know, I just feel weird. But yeah, I do have a job. Do I go to school? No, I was gonna go to like a community college, but I just hate school so much. I always have and always will. If someone told me it was mandatory for me to go back to school, I would, I don't even know what I'd do. I would be really sad though. <laughs> I would be very, 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 very depressed. Like school just like I'm a very naturally I'm a naturally very stressed person like even when there's nothing to be stressed about I create something to be stressed about because that's just how I am and it's really stupid but it's just how I am and so the fact I'm like that naturally and I had school um, like added on to that it like wasn't a good mix so I don't know I just can't imagine ever going back and if I did it would be for something like cosmetology or like esthetician school or something like that. I would never go for like anything else because I just am not interested in anything else. <laughs> Favorite singer would have to be... I listen to primarily rap music but my favorite legit like singer would probably have to be SZA because I don't know she's just so pretty her voice is so pretty. A lot of her songs I can like relate to which helps whenever you're listening to people um but yeah SZA I like her a lot my favorite song maybe okay my favorite song out of every song like if I could listen to one song for the rest of my life and it had to be only one song it might be Supermodel by SZA but recently I've been listening to, I think it's by Tori Lanes featuring Trippy Red, um, Ferris Wheel. That's the name of the song, Ferris Wheel. And it's just a song about a girl's ass, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's like the only thing they talk about. But it just puts me in a good mood. I don't know. I like the beat. I like, I love Trippy Red's voice. I like Tori Lanes too. I just really like that song. So <laughs> yeah, two very different songs. But yeah, <laughs> like my favorite song changes a lot, but... If I had to pick one song to listen to the rest of my life, it would be the Scissor song, Supermodel. Yeah. Favorite movie would have to be Fear with Reese Witherspoon and Mark Wahlberg. I just, I don't know, I like that movie a lot. Um, whenever I'm bored, like that's the movie I'll like go to and watch and have in the background. I don't know why, it's like honestly kind of like a weird movie, but yeah, I don't know. I like Reese Witherspoon, she's really cute, and Mark Wahlberg. He's not my type, but I like him a lot. Um, his accent is just like, it's really good. Um, but yeah, I like that movie. It's probably my favorite. My zodiac sign 
and my birth chart and someone asked do I think it represents me correctly or accurately and my zodiac sign is Pisces and I do think that like represents me very like it's I'm a true Pisces like I don't know I feel like Pisces people the difference between them and like other water signs well I don't know I feel like all water signs are like that because you know like they're the signs of emotion but it's like whenever I'm sad I like have no intentions of getting better I just like wallow in my sadness like I'm just it's like I'm okay with being sad it's like I want to be sad and I don't but it's just like anytime the the most minor inconvenience can happen and I'll be like okay and then I'll go in my bed and like play like my sad boy hours playlist and I just like lay there and be sad and cry and it's like I almost enjoy it I don't know it's like I like crying honestly crying is like one of my favorite things to do because it, it just like releases everything the fuck? but yeah I don't know but yeah I do think I'm very Pisces the only thing I wouldn't say is very Pisces of me is um, I love, well I don't know because I'm a shy person but I love attention which is like I don't know how that works but yeah my moon sign is Leo so I feel like that's why I'm like such an attention seeker which I think is a flaw of mine and I'm trying to work on it but it's just how I am and my ascending or rising sign is Sagittarius which I think um, is accurate too and it's funny because a lot of people say me and my mom have like the same mannerisms and stuff and we have the same rising sign so I'm like that's just proof that it's real but yeah I don't know I just think astrology is really cool and it's one of the only things I'm interested in because I'm not often interested in lots of things so yeah I really like astrology and I do think my birth chart accurately describes me like really well um do I want to be a wife or a mother or do I want to be a wife and a mother um it'd be cool to be a wife um a mother I kind of hate kids a lot I don't hate kids like they're cute but they annoy me a lot and I don't know I think I'm too young I mean I'm 18 but I just don't like thinking of kids right now not anytime soon um but yeah I just I don't know maybe in the future maybe it's not a complete no but if I had to choose right now like do I want kids in the future or no I'd pick no um another question though I wrote it down below that oh but people someone asked if I did have kids what would I name them and I've always loved the name for a girl people are gonna make fun of me okay I like the name um Nastasia because uh, if you watch Vanderpump Rules Stassi, that's her like full name, like her actual name. And people like call her Stassi. I think that's the cutest name ever, like Stassi. That's so fucking cute. And my mom always say, says, what the fuck? My mom always says I remind her of Stassi because I don't know, she's just kind of like, she's not a bitch, but she's kind of like, she always has to have the, she always has to have the last word. And she's just kind of snippy snappy, I feel. And I feel like I'm the same way. Um, that's the only thing that's different about my zodiac sign like I feel like Pisces are very like sweet and if things don't go their way they're like okay they go with the flow but I feel like that's whenever my like moon sign comes in my Leo and like I don't know I'm just kind of I'll be honest I'm kind of a bitch like I think I'm really nice and I try my best to stay away from drama and to not talk shit um, unneededly and I try to be like as nice as I can be I think I'm a nice person honestly but I can be a bitch anyways I'm getting so off topic I like the name Stassi I like it a lot but I also like the name Bentley like is that fucking weird I don't know I like the name Bentley like for a girl that'd be fucking cute and for a guy I or for a boy I'd name him Dexter like famous Dex that's like fucking cute but yeah I don't know I like weird names they're not even that weird but <laughs> yeah I don't know I'm gonna stop talking um what's my diet and workout my diet is not that great I don't have a specific diet I go by I mean I try to avoid any red meats um not for any like particular reason other than they upset my stomach I have a very sensitive stomach I throw up like kind of easily like a lot of people hate throwing up but at this point I'm just kind of used to it 
I should probably see a doctor about it. But I mean, I've, I've been to the doctor recently and nothing was up, so. But anyways, I'm like freaking myself out because like I'm a hypochondriac and now that I'm saying that out loud, I do throw up a lot. But anyways, I'm not gonna think about that right now. Um, yeah, I don't really have a specific diet. I try to avoid certain things like french fries. I know they hurt my stomach and they're not really that good for you anyway. Um, like, I eat Chick-fil-A a lot and Zaxby's and, um, I love Mexican food, Italian food. I don't know, I used to eat a lot of, um, fast food when I was in high school just because it was easy to pick up after school. But recently I've been trying to be a little bit more healthy and more conscious with what I put in my body. Um, in the morning I try to drink lemon water just because, what the... In the morning, I try to drink a lot of lemon water just because I know it's good for your body. Like, the vitamin C and water, obviously, is good for you. Um, I don't know. I watched a whole video on how it's, like, really good for your body. And, yeah, I'll probably link the video down below because it was really interesting to me how just drinking lemon water in the morning, like, doing one little thing, can really improve your health. Um, and it just makes you feel better, honestly, knowing that you're doing something good for your body. But, anyways, um... Yeah, I can't think of anything else. I try not to drink soda if I'm like out with friends and I'm like YOLO, then like I'll have a Coke or something. But yeah, like I just like there's little things that I I restrict myself from. But overall, I don't have a specific diet. And if I ever do go on a specific diet, I'll tell you guys. And I know a lot of people wanted to see a what I eat in a day video, and I might do that. Um, but don't think it's gonna be anything special. It's probably gonna be Chick-fil-A. Um, and at Chick-fil-A, like, I think I already said this, but I don't eat french fries. I love french fries so much, but what I've been getting recently is grilled nuggets with a fruit cup. And I just feel better eating that for some reason. Um, like physically. And my body feels better. Um, but yeah, I do little things to, like, improve my eating habits, but I don't follow a certain diet or anything. Um, and as for my workout, I don't know why I just said that so weird, but as for my workout routine, I'm going to do a whole video on that. Um, I'll probably just do a video of me actually doing it and just tell you the certain workouts I do um, and stuff like that just because I do a lot and it would be a lot to put in this Q&A. And it's been requested a lot, so yeah, I'm just going to do a whole video on that and hopefully it'll be up soon or hopefully I'll be able to record it soon and it'll be up soon. So yeah. Um, am I single and when was my last boyfriend? Yeah, I'm single and my last like official boyfriend that like we were officially dating was in like my freshman, it was like la the, okay. My last boyfriend was like the ending of freshman year in high school and it lasted like summer and then it went into the beginning of sophomore year and that, and then um, we broke up. That was my last like official boyfriend. Um, I've talked to people after that, obviously. I've went on dates and stuff, but um, I just, I don't know. I haven't had like an official boyfriend since. A lot of people ask about my mom's YouTube, and my mom's YouTube is Lisa Lisa D one if you didn't know. She's been doing YouTube for a really long time. I don't even know how long, but a very long time. And uh, yeah, she's just been doing YouTube for a long time. And someone asked if I think it's a positive or negative on me, or like on my channel and stuff. I think it's positive in the way, like, you know, obviously she gave me lots of clout and um. <laughs> hey Chanel. My cat's down there, so if you hear like meows, that's it's from her. She's fine. She just is noisy. Um, but anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my mom having a YouTube, and so obviously she gave me lots of clout, and like I'm so happy that her like subscribers and stuff like me, or some of them do. Like I'm sure a lot of people watching this are from my mom, and I'm so happy that um, she has such sweet subscribers that are really sweet to me and nice and. I have cat hair all over me now. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, you guys are super sweet and I'm happy to have you guys through her. But it kind of sucks just because I feel like I'm living through her and I'm like living in her shadow at times. 
but that's not the worst thing in the world and I know I'm new to YouTube so it's gonna it's gonna blow over and it's not gonna be a thing anymore but oh my god look at her what the fuck oh my god so I think overall it's a positive I love my mom a lot obviously um, we have a very close relationship and yeah yeah so the next question is kindle or kylie i it used to be kindle but honestly i think kylie's more real and i think she's honestly like really down to earth no i think ever since she had um her kid what's her kid's name stormy right um she's been really sweet and she's like real and i don't know i just like kylie i like kindle too i don't there's not really a kardashian or jenner i don't like but um my favorite would have to be Courtney, just because I don't know, I love Courtney. Okay. Okay. It's time for you to go. Someone asked, How do I deal with hate? And honestly, I just try to ignore it. And if I can't, I'll send it to one of my friends and be like, Can you make a joke about this to make me feel better? And we'll joke around about it. And I just instantly feel better. I don't know, I just feel like I've grown up on social media, so I've dealt with a lot of hate. And some of it is needed. I've been, I've said really stupid things, and I've done really stupid things, but people change, I honestly think that, and, um, there she is again. When people spread lies or rumors or say something about my physical appearance or my voice or my accent, someone hates on something physical like that or something stupid like that, I just think something, like, fucked up has probably happened to them in their life and they're just projecting their hate on me which is unfortunate but it happens so I'm not gonna like spend time worrying about people who say mean things to me or spread rumors or lies or anything because I know they're not true I know I think I'm a good person I know my flaws trust me I know them um, and the one thing I can do is work on them, and yeah, I just, I ignore it, I ignore it, yep, that's the main thing, ignore it, and know that, like, what people say about you is just a reflection, it's more so a reflection on themselves than it is on you, so yeah, I have spent way too long talking about this, um, but yeah, hate honestly doesn't get to me anymore just since I've grown up on social media and I've dealt with it so often, um, but yeah yeah favorite victoria's secret model i don't follow a lot of that like victoria's secret model -y stuff but i think taylor hill's really pretty um elsa hosk husk i don't really know i follow her on instagram that's all i know i think she's really pretty um there's one that's really pretty it's like i think her name's jasmine or something i don't know I can't, I think they're all really pretty, honestly, like, um, but whenever I think favorite Victoria's Secret model, the first one that comes to mind is Taylor Hill. I just think she's adorable. Last question that I'm going to be answering is, someone asked what direction do I want my YouTube channel to go in? I honestly don't know. I mean, I know I want it to be around, like, fashion and makeup and stuff like that, just because that's what I'm interested in. Um, I want to focus kind of on positive living and stuff like that too like i'll probably do videos on stuff i do to make myself happier just because um naturally i'm not a very happy person but i've trained myself and taught myself certain things that have made me a more happy person and i mean i'm, I'm 18 i don't know much i'm not very wise i don't think but i just think i do have some tips and some things i do that would help other people um, with their emotions and stuff and uh, I just think I have certain tips and tricks to help with people's mindsets and the way that they think about things and the way they I don't know just deal with their emotions so yeah I don't know like beauty and makeup and like just positive healthy living and stuff like that I don't know just I'm kind of just gonna do whatever I want um, I haven't really thought about what direction I want my channel to be in, but I'm just hoping it's like a fun little thing for me to do and a good way for me to interact with people, and yeah, I'm really excited for it. I'm getting more and more used to being in front of the camera, 
and it's still like for this video i had to record like 18 different times because in each one i was like ew i look fucking gross but I eventually i just have to get over it and realize like i can't look perfect in every video <laughs> so thank you to everyone who asked questions um there were lots of them but i just didn't want to answer them all because that would be a very very long video but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video bye